All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is John, and if you're new to this series, I would highly recommend starting at part 380 if you want to watch the Eldmary Dominion, or obviously part one if you want to start from the complete beginning. Um, so, if you missed the past few days of my vlogs, it's like a five days of Christmas. Uh, kind of vlog you should check it out I'm not gonna tell you what's in it because it's a special thing for people who do check it out so anyway let's get into it I haven't played ESO in like two days because I'm just busy Christmas shopping for friends and family and that's not exactly easy when you're doing that last minute but anyway thanks for all the support I appreciate it thank you for sitting through the ads it really does mean a lot I hope one day I can make this a full-time job, but until then, I'm just gonna work my work super hard just to impress and entertain you guys. Anyway, um, let's go. Uh, what did we leave off last time? If I remember correctly, we finished up the mission in here, so everything should be peaceful again. Um. Now we started a new one, that's where I left off last time. Though, one thing, if... I know there's a mod for it, but is there a way to just, like, go in your console and have an FPS counter for this? Um, so you guys can see it instead of my, uh... Because my recording program doesn't do that. So, that's kind of weird. I do plan on upgrading... My PC eventually. So much to do. But so until then, is it, it over is here? As I said, Kirikolo, no good can come of them. Quite the right, fuck? Where is it? The oh, there you are. This one has not you there? The Marma attacked Cat's Eye Key with their Sea Viper forces. We need every able body for the rescue effort. I'm pretty sure we've seen exactly this person. Well, it's like the different person, but the exact same build. Huh. A counterattack? I'd settle for an organized defense. Our forces... Ooh. I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. Okay. So I'm glad a lot of you guys are enjoying this series. I know, um... I get a lot of positive comments and feedback for it. But if we could get a like on this video before we get too far in it, I would really appreciate it. Snakes, giant snakes, Those Malma pirates Holy came shit. The water. They're all over Cat's Eye Key. Sea vipers happened. One must have struck me on the head. When I woke, a sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard's skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. No, we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the eight, it's inspiring to see Dominion soldiers. Maybe Sergeant Firion can pull off her counterattack. The Marine by the gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the Sea Vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get moving. Gods grant you strength. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Couple more people. We can't let those Maramal pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our families. I saw great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. No. When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. What kind of Kashit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Your Sergeant Pyrian plans to strike back. Keep those pirate cowards a taunting. I'll do no such thing. If any of those sea vipers shows a face on this side of the gate, I'll throw it off myself. That's dedication, buddy. You got this. What are you doing here? It doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. I sent my squad to scout Cat's Eye Key. If they haven't learned with the Sea Viper's plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. 
Don't worry. Your wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. I'll hold the gate, if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. Then let's fillet these fish elf bastards. Whoever did that voice acting for her is really good. I like that. Okay. Holy shit. We should check the house. 22 gold. Wait, hold on. I can't get in from that side, right? Nope. Oh, Jesus. Just gotta watch for that. Yep. You're just there. Alright, we're going in. House number one. What could possibly go wrong? Why are you sitting there? Hey. Squad got separated. Nistel and I found Onglord. They hurt him bad. Sea vipers carved runes in his chest. I grabbed him. Nistel held them off. Hunting sea vipers. If you see her, tell her Onglord will be alright. You've done your part. Get back to Mistral when you can. It was actually really nice. I should have started from the Dal Mary from the beginning. I like the environment the most. Though after doing like two complete factions already, I would say if you want to um, have like really hard quest lines where you have to make really intense decisions, the Ebonheart is the way to go. If you like environment exploring, this one is pretty good. And this overall story, I did like the um, dagger fall the most, or more than the first one, the Heaven Heart. But they're all pretty good though, I liked it. And once again, I'll say this for all the people who asked me yes, this game still has a subscription, frequently asked questions. Will it ever become free to play? I have no idea. And should you get it? Probably because it's on sale right now on Steam. Oh. Nistel. Alright. Who the fuck? Where am I going? In here? Abyss or lightning, right? Yeah. What's up? Not a hurt. There you are. A ringing head is bad. But when it remains somewhat head shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes? I was in the caves working when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere and struck without mercy. Sea vipers, Maoromar pirates. We paid protection through the month and let them put those strange totems in our cave. They've never been in this Uma trade. Uh, I, I meant moon sugar. Uh, hit my head, you see. Fucker, stop lying. Our deaths, I suppose? After they killed enough of us, they left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they collapsed the cave entrance. Some high elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands and walked off. Here, maybe you can make sense of it. Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? Wait, wait, don't think me ungrateful. The wizard was looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the cliffs, but I never saw it myself. Creepy bastard. Get away from me. Alright, so... You look like I was just here. No aggro? Excellent. The 
These totems seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me, do you mind? Indeed, I suppose that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanathi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. You clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems? They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for yourself. Completely. Go ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the storm totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid standing in the puddles, would you? No, oh, you do it. You go first. Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you. Not even a hint of electrocution. You have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry about that. Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. I can't say for certain. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it, just as quickly. Listen, you handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the sea viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. I suppose I should. Alright, so... Uh, left to right, and I think we'll go this way. Rick. Okay, so you have to stand by it for a few seconds. How long do we have on our health bar? 23 minutes. Okay, we're good. Nice! At least we're getting a little bit more gold than usual. That's always good. Money is very important here. Oh god! Aggro. Didn't really need to use that, but it's better than just holding it or nothing. Wow, they're far away. Okay. So just... Of course there's gonna be a lot of guards over here. Who wouldn't there be? Money. What is that? The wizard scene. Next. Actually, not that bad. Fairly close. Maybe a couple more missions and then we hit uh, VR5 to upgrade. Wait, was that 920? Yeah. So a couple more quests. Is there anything of interest over here, or should I just... Eh, fuck it, we'll... I didn't see anything, but... <laughs> Useless. It's really, uh... Nothing here. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? I was standing right next to it in aggro. Excellent. Peekaboo. There's an auto lock. Oh. For some reason, I never knew you could do that. That one is cool, but it uses so much magic, though. I mean, I'm 24 points. I kind of want to try this. gets burnt by a ray of light. Is that what it does? It does like no damage. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess that's different. This is Eelsu, speaking directly to your mind. Find my psychic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop I the marmot. I know what they're planning. Through my psychic projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound Storm Slave. The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanafi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the Thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. <laughs> oh. Ah, there's the genius of their plan. How do you bind a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself, three ritual horns trap Storm Slave. But the lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds. Elegant, yes? It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanathi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanathi's roost. There I'll tread water in the open sea until I've observed your success. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. Sure you do, buddy. Okay. What could possibly go wrong here? I blocked that. So we stop. Take down the eggs first. Oh god, that snake regens. One down. Seven gold. Oh my goodness. I assume we have to fight that in the end. And might as well take out everything so I don't accidentally aggro. Gens pretty quickly now, so I think we're okay. Sorry. 
ourselves. Two down. I think you can run past him. Um, is that like... It's actually cool how they did it, it's just weird. Try to move out of that. Um, oh god, that was a little bit of lag. Oh damn. Inventory is full. That's not good. Some of these things are actually worth a bit, so I'm gonna destroy the ones that you don't need. Children of the sea, your bonds cannot hold the tempest. Come, you must leave this place. Follow me. Ah, I thought we were actually gonna fight something. Apparently not, though. Why do I get fall damage? But okay, that was kind of weird. My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill. Yes, not so thrilling for the Maumar, of course. The Maumar are fled or dead. Fuck, that thing is terrible. Efforts. Canarthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Ald Mary Dominion. So if you must know, Razumdar keeps an eye on promising people. 